Do you know in which neighborhood almost all streets are named after famous German operas? Watch this video and you will know the answer, because we will review Arabella Park, which is the part of bigger Bogenhausen neighborhood. Generally, Bogenhausen is so big and different that there is no sense to review it as a whole. So consider this video to be the first part of big Bogenhausen review. And we will review Arabella Park from the following points. Location, a little bit of history, quality of housing, commuting, amenities, security, and of course, flat prices. And also in this video, I will do something new. I will rank every aspect of the neighborhood from one to 10. The bigger is better. So that will allow us later to compare neighborhoods and compare different aspects of them. And this ranking will be based on a primitive data model. Yes, it's primitive, but it's still a model, not just my personal impressions or gut feelings. First of all, let's define the circle area which will be analyzed here. If we take a map, this circle will have 500 meters radius in the center over here. So you will have an understanding about the distances. Why did I choose 500 meters radius? Because if you are a relatively healthy person, you can easily reach to everything mentioned in this video within 10 minutes. So let's start with location. Officially, Arabella Park is the part of a bigger neighborhood Bogenhausen. Not central and not a forsaken wasteland somewhere on the outskirts. By the way, outskirts of Munich are not so bad. I even would say this is the best places to live. And geographically it is located, I would call it second circle of the city. Which is, by the way, not the always a good area to live in Munich. It depends from which part of the circle you are living. But in our case, this is the good part of the second circle. Because in my data model, the more far away from city center you live, the better. And speaking about numbers, Arabella Park is around 3.8 kilometers away from the very central part of Munich. Geographically, this area does not have spectacular scenery or other natural attractions for people. No river or lakes, totally flat. From the natural recreations, there is only a Denninger Park, which is, by the way, a pretty cool place. From the other side, who needs to have all those natural attractions directly in your neighborhood if around two kilometers there are three beautiful parks are available, including English Garden. So for the location, according to my data model, I will give it six of 10. Mostly it's based on how far it is from city center, presence of lakes, rivers, and how flat is the territory. Now, fun part, history. Previously, Arabella Park had even a name of the Richard Strauss Quarter. This is the famous German composer. So no wonder that the one of the biggest streets in the area is named after him. I mean Richard Strauss Strasse. And also Uban Station has the same name. And the interesting thing that the major streets of Arabella Park area is named after operas of Richard Strauss. And first of all, Arabella itself which gave the name to the neighborhood. It was the name of a daughter of a guy who owned this land and who was the main developer of the district in the middle of 20th century. And since this area was decided to be named after Richard Strauss, he saw the similarity. His daughter has name Arabella and Richard Strauss has opera with the name Arabella. And as I said before, all the major streets of this neighborhood were named after also his operas. Arabella Strasse, Opera Arabella, Elektra Strasse, Opera Elektra, Ariadna Weg, Ariadne, Daphne Strasse, respectively Daphne, and so on and so on. And maybe the last thing worth mentioning in this history section is the tallest building in the area, HUB Tower. Before 2000, it was the highest building in Munich. It is almost 100 meters high. The construction was finished in 1981 and the design of this building reminds me about famous watches from the 80s. Oh, check out these Casio watches. Now let's speak about housing. The majority of housing here was built as a higher comfort housing. At least 
how it was understood in the 80s of previous century. Since the active part of the development of Arabella Park took around 30 years, there are very different houses, but I can say that 80% of them are pretty much tired. I mean, most of them were built almost 40 years ago, with all the ensuing consequences. So forget about modern features and modern approaches to the rooms cutting in the flats. Prepare for small rooms, small kitchens. From the other side, some rooms can be ridiculously large with the walls in unexpected places and very weird geometry. Remember, this is higher comfort buildings in the understanding of those standards which existed 40 years ago. So prepare yourself for mold, old window frames, cracks on the walls, plumbing issues and the walls made of paper. But it is also clear that 40 years ago it was pretty expensive property with the floor of affordable luxury. And by the way, I didn't notice a lot of social housing in the area. Another cool thing is the majority of Arabella Park neighborhood is the walking only area. And it's very quiet until you live just next to the big streets which surround the area. Yes, there are some old estates here, but since we are analyzing the area for the common people, I doubt very much that you will manage to rent a place there. I've seen a couple of offers from those houses and believe me, the prices are crazy. So for housing, I would give the area 6 of 10. This aggregated rating is based on density of the population, general quality of housing, how old they are and how high buildings are. Now let's speak about commuting. From the perspective of commuting, on my opinion, Arabella Park has one of the best public transport infrastructure in Munich. To estimate it, let's just see how much public transport means we have in this 500 radius area. We have two U-Bahn stations. This is U4 line, which can quickly bring you to city center, to Hauptbahnhof and further to Theresian Wieser only within 15 minutes. And what is cool about U4 line that it's not crowded. Almost every street has a couple of bus lines. And don't forget about big bus depot here. A lot of lines start from this place and then can bring you to any part of Munich. So buses are fully covered. And another thing is a tram line. Tram line can also bring you to city center and this is a very good substitution if something happens with U-Bahn. By the way, it happens very rarely. And also a good thing is that the Arabella Park has a very good access to Mittlerer Ring. This is the loop street which goes around Munich. So if you have car, it's pretty much convenient to use Mittlerer Ring, but be prepared for traffic jams. So from the commuting perspective, I would estimate the area as 8 from 10, mostly because this area does not have S-Bahn. But again, Arabella Park has very good public transportation connections to everywhere. Now, neighborhood amenities. First of all, what you should know, Arabella Park is not a pure residential area. It has a lot of offices, clinics and hotels. I would say this is a very positive factor because it has very well developed infrastructure for office people. Huge variety of places to eat and different services. Another positive thing of office area and that this almost empty on non-working hours and all this infrastructure is available to you, to a person who lives there without crowds, lines and everything is very well accessible. So what do we have in entertainment here? There is not much entertainment here because remember, this is partially business district. First of all is Kazimabad pool, which is located here. Very cool place, relatively cheap and the feature of it, it has outdoors warm pool, which works in winter. So you can swim with the surroundings of snow. In Munich, the snow is very rare, by the way. There is also cinema on Rosenkavalier Platz, Rothhof Sport facility in Denninger Park, where you can play tennis. And just next to it, there is a big sport facility with a lot of activities for children, especially for kids from five years old. Almost forget, there is a Jim Barea Kid Club just next to Richard Strauss Urban Station. This is a very good place, a little bit expensive, but it provides activities for children starting from 
first year, which happens very rarely in Munich. Now education. Let's start from kindergartens. According to the Kita Finder, in this area we have eight kindergartens. More than enough, I would say. But this doesn't guarantee you that you will have place in one of them. Maybe you didn't know, but in Munich situation with daycare facilities for children is worse than situation with flats. And situation with flats is a catastrophe for many years. Schools. Unfortunately, there are no schools in the area. The nearest one is about one kilometer away from Arabella Park. Not far away, but also not just next door. There is also Wilhelm Hallstein Gymnasium here, which for some reason does not have a good rating. But in a couple of years, it should be moved to the brand new building, which is almost finished in 1.5 kilometers away from it. Healthcare, practices, clinics, pharmacies, even hospital, everything is present here. Generally, this is one of the features of Arabella Park neighborhood, clinics. This is considered to be a clinics area. And a lot of people from outside Germany come directly to Munich and settle here to receive some medical treatment. That's why there are a lot of hotels here. Probably this area has the biggest density of medical facilities on the square centimeter. Gyms. There is only one gym here, but it's pretty good. For only 30 euro per month, you will have a pretty good fitness studio and unlimited sauna. Restaurants and grocery shops. Speaking about restaurants, it has a lot of them. Almost all cuisine of the world is offered here. I think in Arabella Park, in this small area, there is something like 15 restaurants. Grocery shops, Reva, Lidl and Edeka are all present here. Financial institutions and ATMs, all is also present. I think there is something like three banks here. So to estimate the amenities, I will give it 9 from 10. This area is perfectly equipped for comfort living. Yes, it does not have tourist attractions and entertainments. But who wants them just next to your house? If you can simply go to Uban, take U4 line and in 10 minutes you go out in Odeon Platz where you will have a lot of tourists and a lot of entertainment. Now security. I don't have exact data about Arabella Park, but according to official police report from 2022, Bogenhausen has exactly placed in the middle amongst all 25 districts of Munich, on the certain's place to be exact. So the criminal situation here is average. Don't forget that Munich generally is one of the safest cities in the world. So to translate it into 10 grade system, it is 5 of 10. And now flat rental prices. First of all, let's see price atlas from Immobile Scout 24. I could not say that prices here are significantly higher than prices on central areas of Munich. They are more or less the same across the city. And that means they are crazy high, like everything related to rental flats in Munich. And now let's see rental offers on the map. First of all, you can notice that there are not many offers available. Yes, this is typical situation for the Arabella Park area. People simply come here and don't leave. And regarding the prices, don't forget that these are the prices for the pretty old housing. Now the conclusion about Arabella Park area. It has very good amenities and very good connection to any part of the city. The main drawback of this area is relatively old residential buildings. Yes, Arabella Park is a perfect place to live, but not the only one. And if you want to know about other places in Munich, please watch one of the videos right now.